an enclosure at the reserve is divided into two rectangular cages one side of the enclosure is a solid wall so this is a solid wall this are the two cages and there is a separation between the male cage and the female cage okay so the total length of the fence is 275 meters five male birds are kept in the smaller cage so we got five male birds here and eight female birds in the female uh, cage which is larger the male have an average area of 250 meters squared each in the cage the area of the female cage is to be maximized find the average area of each female in the cage okay so here the area of this is for the male cage is 250 times 5 so the total area is 1250 meters squared okay uh, and we want to maximize this so basically they're asking you what should be the dimension okay so let's start by saying say let this be the length of this is x so this is also x this is also x and so let us this be my and say let this be z okay so what can we say about x the area of the male cage so total area total area of male cage uh, which is x times y is 1250 okay so writing y uh, making y the subject so y is 1250 over x so let us say this is equation one okay now the total length of the fence is 275 so can i say like this total length of fence total length fence is 275 meters this implies I can say 3x plus y plus z is equal to 275 okay so how do you write that here yeah, the total length is x plus x plus x is 3x plus y plus z is uh, 275 so we know y is uh, one 1250 over x so I can say this implies 3x plus 1250 over x plus z is 275 now if you make z the subject again I can say this implies z is 275 minus 3x uh, minus 1250 over x say let me write this or save this as say result 2 okay now what do we want to find we want to find the we want to maximize this area we want to maximize this area so let me change color so total area total area of female cage total area of female cage is x times z okay and let us say this is a let us denote a letter a for the total area of the female cage so the area of this cage it would be x times z and that is we are going to refer that as a so can we say a therefore a is equal to x times 275 minus 3x minus 1250 over x okay so now expanding with x i can say a as a subject as a function of x is 275x minus 3x squared minus 1250 so writing this as a quadratic equation a as a function of x is minus 3x squared plus 275x 
minus 1 to phi 0. Now, for maximum area, for maximum area, uh, you dA by dx should become 0. I'll explain this graphically later on. So, if you think about this, this is a quadratic equation and the equation would go upside down like this okay because this is negative so you get the max suppose this is this is only a rough sketch this is your x and y suppose on this you're getting x on okay let me draw this better what do i mean suppose if you take on the x-axis the x okay so let me change color suppose this is your this is your x-axis and on x-axis you are taking x which is the width of the fence and on y-axis you are taking the area and if you graph this the graph uh, would look uh, I'm not sure I mean, this is the graph would look somewhat like this so at this point you get the maximum area and there the gradient is zero that's what I'm saying d by dx uh, is zero at this point okay hopefully i'm not doing any mistake here uh yeah i'm fine here so yeah so let us differentiate now so uh therefore uh, da by dx da by dx would be uh uh, uh minus six six yeah minus six six uh, plus 275 okay because you drop the power down and decrease the power by one and that is equal to zero so you can say 6x is equal to 275 so x is 275 over 6 so let me use a calculator and that we already drawn the graph so 275 abc 6 you want the exact answer and this I want to change as a fraction. So this is 45 and 5 sixth meters. So 45 and 5 sixth meter should be the, uh, you can see the width of the, width of the, of the female cage, of all the cages. So from that we can find Z uh, and we want to find the average area. So for that let us find the total area so uh, let us do this in graphically graphically so yeah mm, let me bring this up so this is a function so this is a function minus 3x squared plus 275x so if you graph this if you go to graph and i already typed that function in and i have set the scale from 0 to 95 and uh, the y scale is from 0 to 6000 so this is minus 3x squared hopefully you can see minus 3x squared plus 275x minus 1250 if you graph this this is a parabola okay and uh, your maximum uh, maximum is uh, when x is 45.833 that is 45 and 56 so your area is 5,052 meters squared. Okay, so here we'll write, uh, let us finish it off. So you can say when X is 45 and 5 sixth meters, your area that you will get is 5,052 meters squared, which implies the average area for eight females, uh, for eight females would be 5,052 divided by eight. Okay, so let me use a calculator. 5,052 divided by eight is about 630 meters squared. 631.5 to be exact. So you can say 631.5. Yeah. 631.5 meters squared or if you want to write this as a whole number 
as a 10 so this, this is 630 meter squared is the average area that each female bird can have 